The question that's been selected this week is, what diet can I eat to live the most spiritual life? I'm really excited to receive this question because diet has been an obsession, not just a passion for me for seven years. When we're talking about what diet is the best for a spiritual life, what you're basically saying is what diet is the best for me health-wise, because health and spirituality go hand in hand. They're a married partner. You can't really take one away and have the other one remain intact. They're a vibrational match, health and spirituality. So <clears throat> what you want to be doing <clears throat> is trying to get your diet to a point where the foods that you're eating are in their whole and complete form, where they're physiologically natural. So what you want to be doing is eliminating simple carbohydrates. You want to eliminate sugar. You want to eliminate dairy. You want to eliminate meat and processed foods. Many of you may know that part of my job is to work as a medical intuitive. So when I am asserting this opinion of mine, it is the opinion of somebody who is watching energy in the body. When I'm watching somebody eat something, I can see the way that your energy either resonates or does not resonate with the specific food group. And while people, all people are different, and so they can deal with foods differently and resonate with different foods, you know, one person might have an easier time digesting meat than another person. In general, the same way that we could speak about all pesticides being bad for a human biological system, we can talk about foods in general being bad or good for a human biological system, and that's the foods that I'm listing here today. So, the worst foods, I'm going to list them from worst to least worst, <laughs> um, are as followed. The worst food you can put in your body energetically in terms of what I'm seeing are substitute sugars. Things like saccharin, aspartame, and sorbitol. The human body absolutely has a reaction to those chemical compounds like nothing I've ever seen. I, I Sometimes, at times, it's a body reacts to those worse than they would even a, a drug like heroin. So, no substitute sugars. Um, the second one that is the worst on the list for people is preservatives and pesticides. That's pretty self-explanatory. Alcohol is after that. I tend to disagree based on what I see that even a glass of wine is good for a human system. I don't watch people's energy. I've never watched a person's energy, regardless of their body type, agree with alcohol. The second, or, or second, the next worst, it would be white flour. Any of your super simple starches, your body treats those exactly like it would be a sugar. Sugar is an absolute nightmare for the body. But if you break a carbohydrate down to a to the point where it's a simple carbohydrate, your body is treating it exactly the same way that it would as sugar. And sugar is a poison. So no white flour, no sugar. Margarine is the next worst after that. And after that, it's dairy. I have never met a person who can handle dairy, even when they think that they can. <laughs> so um, when we're talking about a diet that's in line with health and aligned with spirituality, it's very essential to eliminate dairy. In general, you want to eliminate animal proteins. The next one after that is fried foods. Those are absolutely denatured foods. And the one after that would be meat. As far as energy is concerned, the best diet for a human to be on would be a raw food, no animal protein diet. Contrary to form and belief, it is possible to get your proteins and get every single compound that you need for your body on a raw food diet. And if that sounds a little bit difficult to do, which I have to admit, really, really living healthily is, is a lifestyle which you have to work your way into. The next best after raw food is, is the vegan lifestyle. So that would be the answer to how to live in line with health and spirituality. Those foods that are whole, that are plant-based, are the ones which human beings in general resonate with the best energetically. And likewise, their cells and their entire biological system resonate with the easiest and best. That being said, 
we can get into a lot of trouble here with people trying to get into a lifestyle of health because a lot of times the changes they make create so much of a problem for them in terms of, well, now I'm denying myself constantly. Now this is such a huge stretch for me to get into this new way of living that I'm causing more problems for myself mentally than I am making up for in physical changes. This is why I say that even though I've outlined here what the best type of a diet is to be on, it's best to sort of work your way incrementally into this. The way to do that is to first change the thoughts that you're thinking. The reason is this, when you change the thoughts you're thinking, change your focus and go on this spiritual path, you will find that your physiology will resonate at a different level. That instantly means that the more and more spiritual you get, certain foods will resonate or not resonate with you. This is the real reason why in a lot of spiritual circles you'll see the same kind of diets among what people would call spiritual masters. It's because they've ascended to this certain level where they only feed foods which, which are able to resonate with where they are physiologically and mentally are these certain kinds of foods. So while diet can help you in your journey to find spirituality, if you are following the path of spirituality, you will be naturally inspired towards these types of foods. So you could play it one way or the other way or a mix of both, which is my suggestion. And that is the way to get yourself to a healthy spiritual diet.